Today we will use CloudSoft AMP to stand up a Hyperledger Fabric cluster and run an example blockchain application. Let's begin with a CloudSoft AMP server already up and running. To do this yourself, consult the instructions in the Blueprint repository, which is linked in this blog post. The first step is to create a deployment location and add it to the Brooklyn catalog. To do so, click on the Catalog tab and then click on the plus sign in the circle. Finally, click on the Location button. You'll then be prompted to choose between a cloud provider, pre-configured nodes that you supply yourself, or more advanced options. Once you've configured and added the location of your choice, it's time to add the Hyperledger application to the AMP catalog. Return to this page, but this time click YAML. Then go to the Brooklyn Hyperledger repository and select the catalog.bom file. From here, select all of the text and copy it. Then paste the text into the Blueprint Composer. And finally, add this to the catalog. Once added successfully, you'll see a Hyperledger Fabric Cluster entry in the list of AMP's applications. Now we're ready for a deployment. Click the Home tab and then click Add Application. From here, scroll through the list until you see the Hyperledger Fabric Cluster and click on this. Then click Next. Select the location that you previously configured. In our example, we're going to use the IBM Blue Box Singapore Data Center. Finally, if you'd like to add a custom name for your deployment, you can do so here. When you're done, click Deploy to get started. You'll immediately see your deploying cluster appear in the Applications list. Click on your cluster, and then hover over the angle bracket, and then click Expand All to see all of the components of your cluster being deployed. After a few minutes, your cluster will be fully stood up and ready to be used. Let's SSH into our CLI node and deploy a sample blockchain application. Retrieve the address of your CLI node by clicking it in the application list and then clicking Sensors. Finally, copy the host address. Switch to your terminal and SSH into your CLI node using the address that you just retrieved. Once logged in, you can issue a Docker PS command to show the running containers on the host. We expect to see the CLI and the member services nodes. Start a bash session on the CLI container using the command shown here. Now navigate to the app home directory, which is an environment variable that was added to this container in the blueprint. Inside this directory is the code for an asset management demo application, which is described in more depth in the blog post. To build the application, execute the go build command. When the build process completes, the folder should now contain an app file, which is the binary executable of the application. You're now ready to run the demo application. Just execute dot slash app. A number of demonstration authorized users are logged in, and the chain code is deployed to all of the validating peers. As the application progresses, an asset called Picasso is transferred between a number of different users. After each transfer takes place, the application queries the distributed ledger to ensure that the owner is who is expected. Finally, Picasso ends up in the hands of Dave, and the application completes. We can ensure that the chain code actually executed on each of the validating peers by SSHing into the hosts of the validating peers and looking for the containers running the chain code. Scroll up and locate the chain code name, making note of the first few characters. SSH into any of the validating peer nodes using the same steps you did to SSH into the CLI node. Once you're in, issue a docker ps command. You should see two containers running. One container is the validating peer itself, and the other container should have the same name as the chain code you witnessed on the CLI node. This means that the chain code successfully executed on this validating peer. For more information about CloudSoft AMP, go to cloudsoft.io, and for more information about Hyperledger, go to github.com/hyperledger/fabric. Thanks for watching.